My name is Asha Mukta and I'm a video journalist. Please join me in this revealing journey as I take you through the streets of East Lee. They come to our home, they enter my room, they ask me uh, an ID, I show them I'm refugees that uh, they say this, this ID card is for Al Shabaab. For the Kenyan soldiers, uh, we are an ATM. Yeah. We are in the heart of this year, suburb in Nairobi. In the past few days, there has been security operations, and uh, according to the locals, the police officers have been harassing them. As much as they welcome the operation, they say that uh, they have liked the government to do it in a humane way. Askari wame kuja katika isli, si kutafuta mwalivu, ni kutafuta pesa. The mother with five children, the pregnant woman, who are just in the, in the police stations, are they, the, are they terrorists? A lot of women have been raped, a lot of uh, people have been tortured. Sorry, sorry. Even those people who are the real Kenyans, who are with, have the okay, identity well, cards, they are not spared. The terrorists must be flushed out. But Sisi ni abiria, sisi ni wakazi wa hapa. Hakuna kitu tumeifanya. Mbona tunapigwa na tukaona kitambulisho na sisi ni wa Kenya. Tunashika. Mtu analeta kitambulisho is a Kenyan. Then tunawapeleka wapi mtu ashika? No, this is Kasarani. Aha. Yeah, yuko Kasarani mali wanatakiwa. They are telling that I wanna I wanna visa huyu ni waria. Na sasa nimemwambia, niambia mama yako aniletee. Mimi ni kuajiliwe wewe. So mama yako akileta ataenda. Like this one. This one, you can see, it's a Somali, but it's not, it, it doesn't qualify to be to have the, an ID. So, but when I arrest him, the parents will come here immediately. They, they will, they will satisfy. This is my son, ABCD. If you look around the world, the Somali community live everywhere in the world and they have established themselves. Per year, the Somali business community in Sri gives two billion, leave alone taxes, they give to the government of Kenya. And in fact, it is the second biggest um, uh, business center in the, in the country. So this thing is, is political and also economic. Maybe this, the government wants to displace this community so that the businesses and everything that's happening, they want to take it over. from the parking place. Maya, Maya, I'm going to go to the hotel, but I'm going to go to the hotel. 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 As we can see, some of them already have their papers, but uh, they have been detained here and we don't know the reason why. 
they have been detained here. Like for her, she has the identity card. From what we are hearing is that the detainees, mainly in Kasarani, you know, stadium, they are advocates who are barred from accessing them. And UNHCR, which is the agency which is charged with the protection of refugee welfare, was also, you know, denied access to them. Just like any other Kenyan, if they are arrested, they must be brought before a court of law within 24 hours. You know, they must be given fair hearing, they must be given access to their lawyers, you know, and their family members also. If that was not the, the case, as we are hearing right now, then that has, must be an illegality on the, on the side of the government. We have evidence of people being held there who hold documentation, who have relatives, who can go and attest to their being uh, locals. One thing is this, you don't have to hold people who are the prima facie can prove that you know, they are genuinely Kenyans. The constitution provides that you hold people for only 24 hours and not beyond there. We've been demanding can we have transparency in this thing. We've been demanding can we have multi-agents involvement in the verification, the vetting and whatever. We are not saying that we need to be involved in the security operation. Let it be done. But we are saying that the security operation has to be done in accordance with the law, observing the human rights of the persons, observing the constitution of the Republic of Kenya and international conventions that govern uh, you know, uh, not just the human rights but also the refugee rights because we are told these are refugees. It is our contention that these are not refugees. Not everybody is a refugee in this thing. We have to sensationalize the issue about rape, nothing could be further from the truth. We have a women's hospital where women report in that incident. We have police, police stations nearby. Where we said anybody who feel a grief, go and record a statement. Why hasn't even one person reported? Because there's no such incident. Our officers have been very professional, but the security operation will continue until we are satisfied and Kenyans can feel it that security has been fully covered. It is the number one concern for Kenyans. And we will stop at nothing until this country is fully secure. Uh -huh. So far, I don't know. I'm not very sure. It's my boss that was PD who is dealing with them. Several Kenyans who are behind bars who are due for repatriation. 116 Kenyans are in Kasarani. Why should somebody refer us to Kasarani? It's never a police station, a gazetted police station. If anything, it is a concentration camp. Something reminiscent with the infamous Wagala massacre, the Bagala massacre, the Garissa one. Uh, history has taught us after every a while, uh, Somalis have been victimized. And I think we are going through the same thing. Nobody is safe. Even me, the member of parliament for Wujir North, can be repatriated quite so soon. Uh, so it is something we have to stand up. Somalis cannot be treated this way. This is about ethnic profiling. Not all Somalis have a hand in, uh, in security. I mean 40 security officers have been murdered in Baragoy. There were no Al-Shabaab there. Cattle wrestling is ongoing. Every time Turkanas are fighting uh, Samburus, Samburus are fighting Turkanas, so are the Pokots. Uh, the general insecurity issue should not be you know, pushed to Somalis. Islam,
mambo hii ambayo inaendelea mambo ambayo kila siku tunafanywa si vizuri uhuru tumemchagua ni wanini sisi tumemchagua The overrowing character is a money minting operation. Right from down there, from the point of arrest, from the point of the crackdown, up to the concentration camp in Kasarani, people are being released on the basis of how much that they can give. When you see in Africa, the name of your, of your tribe appearing on TV frequently, you should start moving. Because that's what happened to Tutsi. They, they were warned, these guys are going to kill you. The normal people you know, in Kenya have no grievance against the Somalis. There's nothing they have done to them. Nothing, absolutely. Whoever committed a crime is responsible by himself. It's not, it's not responsible for any crime. And people know that. But once they are incited and they are shown these are the guys who are committing these crimes and these are your enemies, and now that's what has happened. People have been, have been incited. So the fear is, are we leading this country towards genocide? Religious values do not count for anything here. Cultural values do not count for anything here. Well, do you expect human rights to count for anything? They don't count for nothing. And because these people, are the scum of the earth. Why scum? Because they are Somali, because they are Muslims, and because the public has been whipped up to applaud and say, kill them, hang them at every level. These people risk enforced disappearance. And we cannot to have allow a situation whereby people disappear from the face of the earth without being known wherever they are. I can say the whole operation has been unconstitutional. We have seen people's rights being violated, even if they're refugees. The Kenyan constitution has allowed everyone who is living in the Kenyan border to have the right to live freely, comfortably, to have the basic rights. Beating people is not constitutional. Harassing people is not constitutional. Stealing from people is not constitutional. Instilling fear in the people is not constitutional. Because I can say they are causing insecurity among the Kenyans, among the people in Islam.